and welcome to my yard tour. I bet you thought you were getting a lovely David Attenborough style documentary there, but alas, it is me. My name is Meg Elphick, or you may know me as Elphick Event Ponies, or most likely you don't know me at all. I am an amateur event rider and also a vlogger. So I started my YouTube journey two years ago and it has massively grown into something I'm now calling a full-time job, which is absolutely crazy. I document all of my adventures with my horses and ponies, good and bad. If you trail back through my vlogs, you're gonna see some tears, you're gonna see some laughter, and you're probably gonna see some silent treatment between my mum and I, who's currently behind the camera. So if you watch my channel, you'll know that mum is secretly the star of the show, but she's taking a back seat and being a camera woman today for you guys to come and meet my horses and my yard. So. If we head down here, we can meet the first lot of horses and then I'm gonna show you around my barn. Okay, so I was previously stood outside of my top field, which is if my lovely mum pans around, you will see there. We are trying to give this field a little bit of a winter break. We're currently mid-January and the fields are suffering. The fields know it's Jan. Anyway, we have come across my first pony. Wow, that is bright. So this is Dee, also known as, known as Commons Delight. She is probably my top horse, I would say. Although you're not top in uh, field politics, are you Dee Dee? Good girl, Jan. Okay, so I've actually been joined by both of my top gray mares at the minute. So we'll introduce them together. So this is Jamelia, known as Jam Around the Yard. She is six, rising seven-year-old Connemara. She started eventing last year and she's gone up to B90 so far, but she was very, very good. And she actually got some badminton regional finals. So we're gonna hopefully do those this year. And then as I was saying, we'll go back to top princess pony. This is Dee, also Commons Delight as her show name. She is a 11 year old Connemara mare as well. You guys are gonna realize that I've got a bit of an obsession with native ponies as we go on in the video. So Dee has competed up to BE 100 and also done Riding Club Open, which is 110, which is about where I like to max out really. Over 110 kind of scares me a bit, but there are plenty of other videos available on the FEI channel if you want to see people jumping bigger than 110. You know, a few five-star eventers spring to mind. Anyway, Dee Dee is my top mare. Like I've said, I'm aiming her for Badminton Grassroots as well. Fingers crossed we'll get there at 100. She's got a qualify for this year. So hopefully if the season goes ahead, one of you gray mares will get qualified. Right, I've got another native pony just down here. Okay, so here we have Jam again, who would love to be more involved in this video. <laughs> yes, you're brilliant, we love you. But we're now going to talk to Bear. Now, if you've come across me at all, <laughs> apologies everybody, but Bear is not allowed to come and stand at the fence right now. So I'll just tell you a little bit about her and try and pop some pictures up on the screen. So if you know me for anything, if you've ever come across me, it's probably through Bear because she has been quite a big influence on my channel, shall we say. She actually got me to Badminton Grassroots two years ago, a massive, massive dream come true. And it was so, so special because we bought Bear as a very unruly youngster and we never thought she was gonna go eventing. And lo and behold, she got me to Badminton and she threw me off at Fence Nine Cross Country, which was less than ideal but people seem to love that. So she managed to get me a lot of followers and she actually definitely helped grow my platform. Very exciting news this year is that Bear is going to be having a foal. So if you want to follow that story, you're gonna to have to come over to my YouTube channel. Anyway, I think we should leave you naughty mares and go and see the barn. Okay, quick stop before we get to the barn. I will quickly show you our lovely lorry. This is an Empire Coach Builders lorry. We bought it for Badminton, actually. And yeah, it is very, very lovely. Very lucky to have it. And hopefully she's gonna be going some interesting places this year. 
So you've kind of seen all of the fields here that pan around. We're very lucky that we have actually got a reasonable amount of turnout here and we're on a little bit of a slope which does mean we do manage to get the horses out every day all year round very important to us to try and get them turned out even if it's just for a few hours just so they get a bit of time to mess around and be ponies this here is sort of our little starvation pen or foaling paddock however we want to use it it's really useful to have a well-fenced small space so we have now arrived at the barn so come inside this is my barn we have six stables in here and i've actually got some youngsters in here that you guys are going to meet now okay first naughty youngster i'm going to introduce you to is winnie or rivendell arwin as her show name now winnie's mum is actually jam who you guys have just met in the field so we bought jam over from ireland when she was three and put her straight in foal to a lovely warm blood stallion called astral 53 he was a show jumper slash dressage stallion and the result is Winnie so she is now two rising three she's a little bit naughty and going through a bit of a teenager phase but very very excited for her future she's currently around 15 hands so hopefully it's going to be a nice sort of 15 to maybe 16 hands if I'm lucky and fingers crossed you'll follow in your mummy's footsteps and we'll go out venting together so next youngster is actually Winnie's best mate this is Brinny or Brinathan Catalina she is Bear's half sister although she's not a homebred like Winnie we actually bought her as a six month old foal to be a companion for Winnie come on she's not quite gotten used to the uh, vlogging lifestyle yet but come on Good girl, well done. So she is also two rising three. She's standing about 14 hands, so it's going to be quite diddy, but fingers crossed she'll be as talented as her half sister. And who knows, maybe she'll get me to badminton again. And maybe you'll deck me at fence 10. We'll see. Next youngster to meet is lovely Dora. She is four rising five. She's a Connemara mare, show name Red Park dusk lovely shown in there dora so dora's been with me for nearly a year she was very very weak when we got her over from ireland so she's had a nice easy year she'll be doing some hacking a little bit of schooling tiny bit of jumping but mainly she's just been growing and hopefully this year i'll do a little bit more with her maybe produce you to do a bit of a venting and then probably have to sell her on later this year that was initially what my business plan was with all of these lovely young horses but as you can see the selling part doesn't go too well so if i do another video like this next year you may well still see dora again so the last pony for you guys to meet in the barn is millie that is stable name and show name so millie hasn't got any recorded breeding but we expect quite a lot of welsh and possibly some fell somewhere down the line as she's got a little bit of a curly wavy forelock now this is probably my opportunity to apologize to everyone for how muddy and hairy these ponies are as i've mentioned they are all sort of young stock so oh sorry mill they're currently out overnight just enjoying themselves hence why we've got a bit of a muddy hairy look going on but i assure you they're all gorgeous under the hair so millie came to me last summer we did a little bit of riding with her she was a little bit green and nervous so we spent a long long time desensitizing her and getting her used to being ridden again so millie has actually got some news coming out very soon but it's not been announced yet has it mills so you're gonna have to head over to my channel and turn those notifications on if you want to find out what millie's news is coming very shortly oh best thing about her as well is she has a hidden star underneath this big bushy forelock good girl so that is everybody in the barn for now this is what the barn looks like during the day at night these four like i said are out in the field and i have my three girls and the two boys who you are yet to meet inside so if we have a little nosy around the barn i must stress this is a amateur functioning yard so apologies <laughs> that it's not immaculate mum and i also have a slight problem with hoarding so we can never say goodbye to anything so it's kind of just a case of 
trying to stuff things in different places. If you come around here, you can see my trunks, which I absolutely love. This is such a good hack for numbers. You get these from B&Q if you live in the UK. And all of my numbers fit perfectly inside, which is super handy. And this is like spring loaded, so it keeps all the dust and cobwebs and spiders out, which is fabulous. So this is the lovely barn. And then if we come down here, we've got my hay store. So we keep all of our hay and bedding here. We've got hay nets, feeds. Probably should have made up tonight's hay nets, but I haven't. Over here, we have what would normally be my Bible, what basically runs my life. However, every January I clean it up and I sort of reorganize how I do things and I'm yet to do that this year. So ignore this for now. In a few weeks time, it's gonna be beautiful. It will have everything the horses are doing. I have when I'm like having them shod, when they need the dentist, when they've had their jabs, when they've been wormed. It is just really useful. I love my whiteboard. If I'm riding like five in a day, I completely forget what they've done. So it's so good to have this week and then the previous week so I know exactly what they've been doing. Now, if you come up here, we will go to my tack room and my feed room. Into my rather dark and dingy feed room. We've only got one little window right at the back there. So nothing too exciting. We've got the bike there ready for a speedy getaway should anything happen in the night. Obviously the ponies can come and grab that if they need it. Here are all of my feed buckets. Feeds ready for this evening. Nicely color coded and organized as well. So I've got my three competition horses feeds here. Mind you, Bear shouldn't really be in that anymore. She's uh, technically gonna be a broodmare. Anyway, she can stay in a lovely green bucket for now. Uh, <laughs> I've then got my baby blue buckets, you guessed it, for the babies. And then the boys' buckets are down here. This is Grandad's bucket, who we'll go and meet soon. He is my 30, soon to be 31 year old, com ex competition pony. And then Ari, who you've not met yet, and I've got my mush soaking here ready to add i've got my feed bins over here which have the different feeds in a fantastic hack for feed bins which i need to actually do i need to listen to my own words is to cut the bags up and then you just stick whatever feed it is like tape it to the bin and then it's super easy to see what feeds in there next we go into my mansion of attack room prepare to be amazed guys Okay, so the door doesn't even open properly because my clippers are behind the door because it's the only place to have them. So if we squeeze in here, the audio is gonna go a little bit funny. I, like I said, have a bit of a hoarding problem and I can't say goodbye to rugs, I can't say goodbye to saddles or bridles or anything. So here we have all of my tack crammed into this little space, but it does work absolutely fine so long as we're organized. Okay, don't, don't show the piling up of saddles, mum. That's the one thing that's not so great. Um, but along this wall, I've got my bridles. You'll notice at the end, I have a special neck strap hook. That is because other than William Fox Pit, I am neck strap's biggest advocate. Absolutely love them. I've got my hats here and then just various stuff on the shelf that we probably don't need to look at because it's a complete mess but very lucky to have some really, really lovely saddles. And although this room's tiny, it is ultra secure. So I guess that's a bonus. Okay, so that is kind of everything to see in there. I should have mentioned before, this is my parents' home where I currently reside. And the house is literally just a stone's throw over there. So it's amazing to be able to roll out of bed and basically be on the yard. Although it does mean I spend every waking hour of my life out here. My lovely wheelbarrows. And then, so if we go down here, we have got my arena. Super, super lucky to have this. It does make training at home so much easier. It's a 20 by 40. We actually changed the surface when we moved here because it was, yeah, it wasn't great the surface, but we now have combi ride, which is really fab, really enjoying that. I've got some trotting poles set out there because it's just getting to the start of training for the event season. So all the girls are out doing poles. Also super, super lucky to be a sponsored rider for poly jump. So you can see out here, I've got a full course of poly jumps, which is amazing. Super lucky to have the school and it's got the most stunning view out the back. So definitely worst places to school your horses. 
Here we have my porter stables. So we popped these up just over a year ago, like a year and a half ago, when I was doing a few more liveries. I was having in like breaking liveries, schooling liveries, etc., which I no longer have time to do with all of the vlogging and all of the ponies I've collected. But these are fab. We kind of use them as isolation boxes. So when we have new horses, they come down here to be out of the main barn, just in case they've got any flu or anything like that. It's really good to be able to isolate them. Also, they work as a bit of an overflow. So if we want to have all the horses in, these will be in use and they'll have some of the youngsters in. Down here, we have our incredibly messy muck heap. So just avert your eyes there. In fact, no, if you're not looking at it, it's not messy. It's stunning. You would not believe how organized it is. And then we have our boys. It's a bit slippy. So the boys aren't banished to the bottom of the field all of the time. You may notice that I really love my mares. So out of nine horses and ponies, we only have two boys, one of which is this homebred. So he is called Ari or Master Arion. He is three, rising four, and was actually out of a lovely event mare I had. He's actually coloured, but you can't really, he's not got a great deal of white sort of on his neck, but he's got really, really lovely markings. So Ari is also Winnie's half brother. He's got the same daddy, Astral 53. So fingers crossed, he is going to be a lovely eventer for me. He's super talented. I've started doing some work with him and also loose jumped him. And yeah, he's got a nice bit of scope, lovely attitude and really nice movement. So I'm incredibly excited for him to continue smacking me in the face when we vlog in the future. Last but not least, we have Ace, also known as Western Pride, which is a personal favorite show name. He is my 30, rising 31 year old Connemara X event pony. So Ace was incredible. I think I was about, Harry's got my welly. <laughs> Harry. So I got Ace when I was 10 years old, many moons ago, and he was a bit of a hot pony. He was, yeah, he was a bit wild when we first got him. He had a habit of bucking after every fence. And for the first three weeks, mum was like, oh my goodness, Meg cannot ride this pony. Like we're gonna have to find her something tamer. And then eventually Ace came around and he taught me so, so much. We did the Pony Club Champs together. We did loads of dressage. We were on the school teams and he was just fantastic. And he has stayed with us to retire ever since. I say retire, it's more semi-retire because Ace has actually been in charge of looking after all of the foals we've had. So he is our number one babysitter. When we wean the mares from the foals, he takes over and puts them in their place. Clearly not done the best job with Ari as he's just smacked me around the head twice. So that is a quick roundup of my yard and my horses. If you guys want to see more, then be sure to head over to my channel, Elphick Event Ponies, or you can also find me on Instagram under the same tag. Massive thank you to the FEI for inviting me to be on their channel. It really is an absolute pleasure. Be sure to hit subscribe on their channel too as they have some amazing content coming out and it's so, so regular and so handy. Hopefully we're gonna be seeing lots of competition content this year. Fingers crossed if it can all go ahead. So I hope you've enjoyed meeting me and my lovely horses and ponies. Fingers crossed I'll be invited back and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.